thank you very much for staying with us and for joining us once again on this channel now in this particular video we are going to look at the central defense of the senior national team the blasters we have a lot a lot of quality central defenders now we are going to look at the players who will be um available for world cup squad or who will be part of the blasters world cup squad and those and then again players who can start for the senior national team the blasters you have seven solid central defenders patrick pfeiffer stefan ambrosius joseph Edu, ali duseidu of clement ford and then um alexander jiku daniel amate and then mohammed salisu so seven solid central defenders we are going to look at um, those players who can be part of the blaster squad to the world cup and those who can start for us as well as how they are offering in, um, in their various leagues over there please do want to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching us here follow two more fantastic blasters videos updates exclusive content like this do want to subscribe hit the notification bell select all do all to like this video and leave your thoughts and comments below in the form in the comment section let me hear your thoughts and comments about what you think um about this particular video we are bringing you it's very important let me hear you in the comment section over there now like i told you the black stars have seven solid central defenders how many of them will be able to make it um to the 2022 world cup now the last time coach otuado made a um, call up for the black stars was the september friendlies 2022 september friendlies versus brazil and then nicaragua and then in that particular call up um he he called seven um six um six uh, central defenders over there that is stefan ambrosius joseph edo ali duseidu daniel amate and then um uh, muhammad salisu as well so he got six central defenders now how many central defenders will he be calling for the 2022 world cup and how many of them will be part now let's start from patrick pfeiffer patrick pfeiffer is doing very well in the league he is in now he is in the same league with stefan ambrosius and then which is the second bundesliga yes and then he's topping that particular um league right now his team sv Darmstadt 98 is stopping that charts right now and he's scoring goals also yes he's scoring goals he has three goals in the league as we speak to you after some 12 games played now stefan ambrosius is also in the same league and um, playing for carl Schraha. and then he is on the eighth of that particular league table so he's on the eighth position yes and um, he's also playing very well he also scored goals and then um doing very well for himself now the two players um have some things in common they were uh, both players who were born in hamburg yes in germany Ste stefan ambrosius were born to ghanaian pa um, parents all the two parents were ghanaians okay now those two players are also take tall um, giant and all of that they are both central defenders so that is how they are doing in the league they are in now Mohamed salisu is also doing very well for himself but his, his team is not doing well now Mohamed salisu and daniel amate is also in the same league english premier league they are somehow doing very well for themselves maybe with the exception of daniel amate who is who is struggling to get playing time but Mohamed salisu is always playing and doing very well for himself but his team is not doing well he is currently on the 18th position as I speak to you now, um, Southampton is currently on the 18th position. Leicester City is on the 19th position. So that is how the, the things are going for our central defenders. But those two players are some solid, solid, solid um, central defenders that um, are doing very well for themselves. And they will be part of the Blaster squad, whether we like it or not. So that is how things are going there for in the English Premier League. If you go to France... We have also two central defenders over there who are playing that particular league. And we have Alexander Jiku as well as um, Ali Duseidu. Now, Ali Duseidu is one player who will get the nod over two players like Stefan Ambrosius and then um, Patrick Pfeiffer because he is capable of playing a lot of positions at the back. He can play as a right back, he can play as a left back. He can even play as a defensive midfielder and so that is the reason why ali duseidu is always part of the blaster squad and um, coach otuado likes him so much because he's a versatile defender 
So take note that Ali Duseidu may be part of the Black Star squad to the 22 worker because he's a versatile defender. Mohamed Salisu cannot be left out. Quality defender. Okay, he's he, he joined the Black Star. He should be part. Daniel Amate uh, maybe should be part, but I'm sure a lot of Ghanaians would disagree that Daniel Amate. But if you look at his consistency for the Black Stars before we qualify to the World Cup, after we qualify, doing well for his side, Leicester City, and all of that Daniel Amate should be part. Alexander Jiku of Strasbourg should also be part because of same reason his consistency from 2021 Afcon up to this time through the World Cup qualifications and all. Alexander Jiku Strasbourg. Strasbourg is also not doing very well. Yes, they are also um, they also find themselves in the bottom places in the French League. Ah. But Ali Duseidu of Clement Ford, um, his team is doing very well uh, around the eighth, eighth position in the French League uh, as I speak to you. So that is that. These four players, four central defenders, will go to the 2022 World Cup. Now, at most, I think that at most, the Black Stars will have just five central defenders for the World Cup. At most, 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 the, the most... And um, very most we can go is maybe six. So it means that one key central defender will be out. Now, Joseph Adu is playing for Celta Vigo. Doing very well. Playing day in, day out for Celta Vigo in the Spanish La Liga, a top league. So definitely you cannot leave him out of the equation. So these are the five solid defenders that will go to the 2022 World Cup, whether we like it or not. Because they are playing very well. They are in the top leagues. And then in the um, Black Stars too, they do very well for themselves. So, Joseph Edu cannot be left out. Unless maybe um, there is an injury or something like that. So, these two players, key players, who for them, they switch nationality to the Black Stars so that they can play. Okay, they can play for Ghana Black Stars and then also they can play for, for a national team. So, Patrick Pfeiffer and then Stefan Ambrosius. Would they be part of the Blaster squad to the 2022 World Cup? Or what will happen to them? Um, I, what, what do you think? Let me hear your thoughts and views. But for me, I think that if we are to choose a seed central defender who will go to the 2022 World Cup, it should undoubtedly be Patrick Pfeiffer and not Stefan Ambrosius. Yes, because he's on form, he's doing well, his team is doing well. And if you look at his qualities as a central defender, Take tall giants, very good on the ball, and um, defends very well, close spaces, interceptions, recovery, and all of that. It tells you that um, Patrick Pfeiffer will be a good addition if we are to take six central defenders to the 2022 World Cup. So it means that Stefan Ambrosius will miss out of the 2022 World Cup. What is your take on that? Do you think Stefan should go? And if Stefan is going, who will be leaving this particular six central defenders we've talked to you about in this particular video? It's a keenly contested um, position. Or oh, yes, position in the Black Stars as I speak to you. A solid, solid squad with quality players. At least per our level, they are, they are quality players um, uh, who are going to battle, uh, battle it out there. So let me hear your thoughts and views. On the central defense of the Black Stars going to the 2022 World Cup in the comment section. I'll be very glad to hear from you over there. Do want to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching us. Like this video. Do want to leave your thoughts and comments below. Do want also